and welcome back to Who Would Win. Today's Who Would Win comes to us from Shadow Dice Gaming, who asked the question, who would win in a fight, Loki versus Darth Sidious? Now, I think it's a fair question. Uh, Loki being Asgardian makes him well beyond that of a normal human in terms of physicality. Uh, Loki's primary, you know, modes of attacking or, or modes of combat usually involve illusionary tactics, but he is still a proficient weapons user. And I'm simplifying Loki very much at the moment. Sorry, I got, I got like, you gotta get that pressure where you gotta pop your ears. Hold on. Anyway, that's a little bit better. Uh, so yeah, he's a proficient weapon user. Uh, I mean, Loki has, uh, she can shape shift, changes, uh, changes form. Hold on, Loki. I'm going to get just Loki's wide array of, uh, uh, abilities up here. Just so I have the overall, um, have the overall, uh, laundry list here. So no one's going to be like, you can do all this and still like, go give me a minute here. Let me, let me get, let me vouch for the man. He's actually, he's, he's not actually as guardian. He is frost giant slash as guardian. Um, so he's got superhuman strength, uh, naturally compared to a normal individual, although, somebody to thought, he's going to be listening to a higher level than originally without, without aid, he, he once even managed to destroy a large building with a single punch, so he's certainly powerful, uh, superhuman dense tissue, he can pretty much, like, tank small arms fire, uh, it, his body, he's actually a hundred, several hundred pounds heavier than the average appearance would imply, super durability, um, Regenerative healing factor like Asgardians, Loki, although he is inhumanly durable, can uh, still be injured. His metabolism, though, allows him to recover faster, just not like a Wolverine-esque individual. His magical energies, though, are so powerful that he can imbue it in his body and reattach several limbs. And while still male, he can even reattach his own... And while... And while still a male, even reattach his own head at least once. What the hell does him being a male have to do with that? Oh, let me read that entire thing about his regenerative healing factor. Okay, like all Asgardians, Loki, although he is inhumanly inhumanly durable, at least by human standards, can still obtain injury. And like all Asgardians, his metabolism enter enables him to rapidly regenerate damaged tissue much damaged tissue much faster and more extensively than a human being. However, through the use of sorcery, Loki is able to heal himself. Far above that other as guardians, his magical enemy energies are imbued into his body that he can reattach severed limbs and, while still a male, even reattach his own head at least once. I have a feeling someone mistyped that because what the hell does him being a guy have to do with him being able to reattach his head? Unless they are talking about the female Loki at the time he was a female. Okay, then whatever. Anyway, longevity, long stamina, sorcery. This is where basically most of his powers come from, including telekinesis, mystical energy blasts, mystical force fields, uh, illusion casting, teleportation, psionics. Uh, the full limitations aren't known, but he has demonstrated the ability to project his thoughts telepathically across dis uh, great distances, even across dimensional barriers. Shape shifting, transmutation. He also can transmute, uh, transform external objects into other forms and substances. As he turned clouds into dragons, he even changed uh, cars into ice cream. He is also he also once cursed Deadpool with an indestructible Tom Cruise face, <laughs> with an indestructible Tom Cruise's face, which proved to be powerful enough to withstand being run over by a train in direct contact with a nuclear rod without having received a single scratch. He is the god of mischief, after all. I never knew that one. Uh, he can do enchantment. So Loki is actually. Very powerful. Uh, definitely. And he's skilled combatant. He's also a genius intellect. However, he has magical limitations. Loki's powers are believed to be at least slightly weaker on Midgard than on Asgard, as his birth was not of Gaia or even Odin's magic. He's also, he has a superiority complex. So, he is very dangerous indeed. Uh, Darth Sidious, or Sheev Palpatine, as we know and love him, <laughs> do it. Um, he is a human, and he was the, considered to be one of, if not the greatest Sith Lord, most powerful Sith Lord of all time. He strategically, uh, through decades of planning, brought upon the downfall of the Jedi and nearly caused their mass extinction. He trained one of the most deadly Sith there ever was in Darth Vader, and he's been able to resurrect multiple times through cloning and self-alchemy. Um, now, as a, as a human, though, even with the Force, 
There's no way he could go up against someone like Loki physically. Where Palpatine's strength's going to lie is his ability with the Force and a lightsaber. Obviously, we know what a lightsaber is. It is a weapon that forms a blade of plasma that can pretty much cut through near anything. There are exceptions. Beskar, um, there is a creature whose scales are resistant to lightsabers uh, and other lightsabers as well. But it's far few between the things that a lightsaber can't cut. Uh, but Sethius is a master swordsman. He also augments his body with the Force so he can move faster at more heightened speeds. Um, he is capable of Jedi mind, you know, mind tricks, uh, manipulating the weak-minded, which Loki is not. So anything mental that the Jedi or the Force allows, being mental tricks, anything like that, mind control, that's not going to work. Loki's too smart for that. So right off the, right off the gate, that's out of the equation. Obviously, though, telekinesis is a big factor of the Force, uh, one of the big key effects or uh, abilities given to you by the Force, and Sidious is, is powerful enough to throw a freaking Senate at someone, and that was him not in his prime. So, his telekinesis is probably on par with Loki's. Actually, let's see what they say about his telekinesis, if anything. Uh, in the of objects, people, mind, this power proves to be devastating in, and chaotic in nature. Doesn't really specify the limits of that, but still, uh, I'd say he's probably on par with Loki, and he can just continue. He's probably a bit more um, uh, adaptive with telekinesis. He's probably a bit more right terminology here, uh, creative, I guess you could say. Uh, there's also Tuna Menace, which allows you to absorb basically energy. This would probably negate most of Loki's mystical energy blasts. Uh, you can create a force barrier as well. Same thing as like mystical bears again negating energy blasts uh there is also this famous force lightning which it's lightning it's he's creating lightning loki's mystical barrier should be able to prevent that but if he's hit by it it's gonna hurt <laughs> it is really gonna hurt um so there's that as well there's also other abilities he's gained uh, he can actually steal someone's soul, uh, not steal someone's soul, but, um, possess a body if he need, if need be. Granted, he usually does this by creating a new body through cloning and then just possessing that body afterwards, but I am assuming in a pinch he could try to do it to someone else. And then there was, like, in the, uh, in the Expanded Lore, like, the Force Storm, where he pretty much created a dimensional wormhole Force Storm. Which, admittedly, I think is almost is stronger than most of what Loki is capable of, most of what Loki is capable of doing in terms of sheer power. But, honestly, Palpatine is actually coming at this fight with a pretty severe disadvantage. Him and Loki kind of go toe-to-toe -to -toe with a lot of their abilities. Telekinesis, they're pretty much toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Physicality, Loki's got the edge, even with force-enhanced uh, physicality. Lightsabers are dangerous weapons that could certainly kill Loki if uh, given the right um, if given the right uh, moment. So that he does have an edge in terms of melee combat there, uh, but he would still have to be able to uh, hit Loki, and Loki's not stupid. Really, the the thing about this is most of the Force mental manipulation tactics, none of those are going to work on Loki. He's way too intelligent, too tricky to be, and cunning to fall for that. Whereas what Loki's capable of doing is really just illusion casting, um, illusion casting, teleportation, um, image creation. He can just make illusions that have nothing to do with the Force. So it would be a lot easier for Palpatine to fall under the control of Loki's illusions than vice versa. Uh, if these two meet in combat, what, ha well, what happens, I imagine it'd be actually a lot of training barbs beforehand. Maybe it'd even be like a, an attempt to create an alliance between them to get to each co each other's common goal. Ultimately, the alliance would fall through, and it would be, uh, <laughs> um, it, it would be, it would be you know, them trying to kill each other. I think, Lo I think Palpatine would ultimately be the aggressor. It's like, it, you. He tries to force lightning and just force lightning Loki, but Loki just gets out of the way. Maybe absorb, maybe kind of like redirects the energy. It's like, you really think you can hide from me, boy? You do not know what you, you do not know the power of the dark side. And you know, he just kind of throws Loki around, but just boom, boom, boom. And then Loki throws him there out a bit, and he's like, ah, I don't sense the force in you. It's like, the, for <laughs> the force is a very is very nebulous concept. We in Asgard prefer more, you know, more traditional methods. And all of a sudden, he just makes copies of himself. 
so care to play? <laughs> and then, you know, Palpatine has his lightsaber out, tries to cut them down, and she's like, you, I see. And then all of a sudden he uses lightning and just, just, just kind of gets rid of the, gets rid of the, uh, the copies, or at least figures out where the real one is, or tries to, eliminates the copies from the equation. Just lightnings the area. <clears throat> Loki, though, meanwhile, is just setting up another thing. Transmutes the floor into ice cream because he did that with uh, with a truck at one point. <laughs> um, okay. Um, sure. Um, <laughs> so, and then I think what he'd actually do is he basically would create an enchantment around Palpatine. This is how I think he ultimately beats him, by the way. Is that because he can create enchantments, he can in bring inanimate objects to life and mystically imbue objects or beings with specific or temporary powers. Bestow superhuman attributes to living beings or inanimate objects. For example, Loki has augmented the might of human criminals like Cobra and Sandu. The magical effects remain only for as long as he maintains the spell that created them. So, first off, the fight would probably go to the outside of whatever location they're in. Uh, and Loki could survive in space, so then this can take place on, like, the outside of a space station. Let's say it's using the Force, we could probably survive as well. But ultimately, he creates Force Storm, and Loki's like, I, uh, and Loki's like, this isn't good. But, as, you know, Palpatine's creating Force Storm, he feels something's off, and all of a sudden, he's feeling, you know, his energy slipping, um, and he's, you know, the storm's starting to, you know, kind of crack and fade, and, all, you know, Loki gets out of the way. He gets injured, but he's but he's ultimately fine. All of a sudden, Loki just appears right next to Palpatine. What is this? It's like, oh, I laid I laid an enchantment down while we were fighting. It's like, you were so busy focusing on me, you didn't actually focus on me. And he just kind of sees it out. I was like, hello. <laughs> um, and, um, it's, uh, and so right now... Now I'm zapping all of your, the, all of your energy. It's like the force sustains. I, the force could say that you, you can absorb as much as you want. I'll just use the force. Yes, uh, true. Which is what uh, true. But at the moment you're weakened, which is why. And all of a sudden he just pulls out a blade and uh, actually, and yeah, normally he does. Uh, he does carry weapons like a sword, magical sword, nor is the mythological Levi Levaten. Which means wounding wad. He also in the movies carries around uh, daggers, but he basically just brings out a sword. Just that's why. And all of a sudden his head just goes off. So that's why you can't live, unfortunately. And Palpatine goes down. Now Palpatine does try to, you know, go to one of his clone vats and you know just get out of there and just like I will be get my revenge. However, it, it, however his spirit tries and fails as he sees that all of the clone vats were destroyed. Like, by the way, if you're looking for those fa those fake little munchkin versions of yourself, I took care of them a while ago. <laughs> and finally, I'll like, just take your body. Oh, you can try, but I wouldn't I wouldn't attempt that. And he tries to take Loki's body, only to find, like, this guy is not someone I can do this with. As Loki then just kind of, like, enchants himself and basically pulls Palpatine's spirit out. That might sound like a stretch, but I think it is within the realm of Loki's abilities to do. To basically kind of pull a, uh, you know, pull a pull a soul out of his body if he had to, um, or you know, stop a soul from stop a spirit from possessing him, and basically contains it. So what to do with you now? And then basically goes to the other one. Hello, dear daughter, a gift for you. <laughs> and she sees it, a very worthy gift indeed, father. And so. That is the end. I think Loki takes his A because he's just naturally tougher. Physically, he's just naturally tougher. But he's his abilities aren't derived from the Force. So Palpatine isn't going to be able to understand them as easily. Also, he, Loki's just too cunning and too intelligent for any mental tricks to work on him. Whereas Palpatine, while also very cunning and intelligent, it's not the Force that's affecting him in terms of mental, um, uh, mental abilities. So... Loki's ability should work just fine on him. Add on the ability for him to be a strategist. Add on for the ability to... Uh, or add on... Not the ability. Add on him being a strategist. And add on the ability to cast enchantments and transmutation. I think Loki's going to take this fight, personally. This is just my opinion, though. What do you think of the comments below? Let me know. Till then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put the comments below. Let us know. I'll do a review of it at some point. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.